In this video, I'm going to talk about myotonia congenita. Myotonia congenita. Or fating goat. So, what it means is that not only it happens in goats or cats or like dogs, it is also common in human beings, and that is the reason that is this is called. So, myotonia essentially means delayed in relaxation, okay? So, delayed in relaxation. Congenital essentially means genetics, genetically involved, right? From, um, from genital, if you say it's genetic, genetically. Essentially, this disorder has to be found between 1 in 100,000 people in Earth, okay? So, and it is um, genetically determined. So let's see why is this happening and it is all um, Coming back from the muscle interaction the essential reasoning is that the delay in muscle relaxation causes the um, Continuous um, stiffening of the muscle and not being relaxed with give rise to myotonia congenita And let's see why this is the case. So this is a typical mammalian cell Okay, so say this is like heart muscle cell. Now this is not a proper concentration, but the but the concentration is that for example potassium is I think hundred millimolar, essentially being high. Sodium is very low in a typical rest rest potential. Okay, low. And chloride is low too. I think it's about 10 millimolar as well. But this is an inside of cell. The outside of the cell, and potassium is low, is very low. It's around 10 millimoles, it's pretty low. Um, sodium is pretty high, like 140, I think, I don't know, pretty high. Cl minus is pretty high too. Okay, so these two are very high outside, this inside, they're pretty low. So as you can see, as, as we, we know, if we have reached a specific stimuli or action potential, if it um, gets in a specific threshold, for example, if we, if it's for example minus thirty millivolts at resting potential, if it's for example changes to minus twenty by getting it more depolarized, we're gonna reach action potential. So what I mean by action potential is that sudden opening of the poly, um, NA plus channel voltage voltage gated channels okay and this would properly get inside the in many many sodium in okay so we have we are getting in many many sodium in essentially depolarizing the cell and making the cell become more positively charged or more depolarized okay and as a result of that we can easily flex and we can easily contract our muscle okay so that's pretty cool however in people expressing this myotonic congenita what it means is that we have a gene that is deformed and we're not going to produce a CL channel, CL minus channel. And you know, if we depolarize, we, not, we don't want to have it to be stiffened for a prolonged amount of time. We want to be relaxed. And for it, for it to be relaxed, we have a two different approach. We have an approach such as potassium channel, okay, and which would essentially leaves, essentially allows the potassium to leave the cell, making it to be more negative, okay. Or, more importantly, we have a CL minus channel. Okay, CL, CL voltage gated channel, which essentially allows the CL minus to come in. This CL minus essentially would bring down the polarization and would increase the polarization and make it to be more polarized and essentially allow the cell to become, to be able to rest, okay? We are essentially making the cell to be able to rest more clearly and hence make the cell go back to its resting potential, okay? Or become more negative. And people with myotonia congenita, as you recall, if you don't have, if you don't have this channel, okay, what it essentially means is that we are essentially making the cell to become more polarized. We're not gonna, we're not gonna make it. We, we essentially make it to be more depolarized for a prolonged amount of time. So this is very important. Depolarization for prolonged amount of time. Okay, depolarization. For prolonged amount of time. 
podcast. This is a very important point because we don't have any channel to bring in the negatively charged thing to decrease down the positively charge inside the cell, make it to be more positive charge. Instead, we're having it to be more positively charged and it takes much, much more time to get the potassium to get out by itself and essentially brings down the whole uh, membrane potential. And membrane potential as a result would become more positively charged in more time and as a result it will, be, it will become more contracted. And that's why after a specific stimuli for the people with that, they go into this episode of shocking or in which they go into a bizarre of freezing that they cannot move their bodies or anything because it cannot rest. It's just in a sudden contraction because if you contract, it is now it is in contraction, it doesn't release. Okay, and it's a really bad thing, you don't want to happen to you. But this, in a nutshell, is my Tony Congenita. I hope it was helpful and it gets punished beneficial. Thank you.